Kia ora and welcome everyone. Good evening from New Zealand and good afternoon from the Philippines. Welcome to another Canada School Showcase session. We will be featuring our partner school, Fanshawe College. And yours truly, my name is M, and I will be your host for today's session. Here at Secure Visa, we are committed to providing the best service in paving a pathway for our clients to study, work, and live in their ultimate destinations. We give you that peace of mind by having exclusive discussions with Secure Visa's team of experts, school application assistance, visa processing, strong pastoral care services, and constant immigration updates. And we look forward to safeguarding your future with us. Now, in saying that, being in a peaceful mindset would mean less traffic and more time for your family, having that quality of life and living in a clean and uncorrupt country, we want to see where the government uses our tax contributions and having a better future for the family, free education for the children, and a great health care system. Now, where would we find all these and get that peace of mind? And, of course, you can find these in... Canada. That's right. And I'm going to share with you a few benefits of studying in Canada. Canada has excellent education systems. International students gain globally recognized qualification and immerse with a cross-cultural society which stimulates mm -hmm. innovation. After graduation, the student will be eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit of up to three years, depending on the program taken. This allows the student for any employer in Canada to be able to work and gain practical experience relative to his or her qualification and or work experience. Canada is an immigrant friendly country. The diversity in Canada makes settling easier for immigrants as it plays a vital role in forming the ever-tolerant and welcoming attitude of the government and people of Canada. There are employment opportunities. Immigrants help employers meet their labor needs. And the state-funded healthcare access depending on the province or territory you are in. You will experience the quality of life, having a work-life balance while enjoying the country's natural beauty. And lastly, a variety of immigration options. The fact that Canada offers vast opportunities for persons possessing different skill set is definitely one among the many Canada immigration benefits. And, of course, Secure Visa is very lucky to have a special guest for today's Canada School Showcase session. Our esteemed guest is the International Education Advisor of Fanshawe College for the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome Ina Rania Dizon of Fanshawe College. Kia ora, Ina! Kamusta? Hi, good good afternoon and good morning or good evening wherever you guys are. That's right. And thank you, Ina, for being with us. I mean, it's been a while since we've had your, you know, we've connected, but and I'm pretty sure, you know, everyone here is excited to know more about Fanshawe College, you know, what's the latest, what's in store for aspiring international students, right? So yeah. Of course, I'll pass the baton to you, Ina, because you've prepared a very, um, you know, pr uh, informative presentation for all of us, right? Yes, I do. Yes. So, um, all right, again, so my name is <laughs> Ina, and I'm the International Education Advisor of Fanta for the Philippines. So today, I'll be sharing with you information about our school, the programs that we have, 
and also the student services that you can enjoy as a fan to international students. So um, first things first, let me introduce to you Fansho College. So Fansho is located in London, Ontario. So London is one of the largest cities in the province. We are technically two hours away from Toronto Airport, which is the main entry point for our students. In terms of our student population, uh, we have 22,000 full-time students and 7,500 of them are international, representing 104 different countries. So since 2020, even at the height of pandemic, um, we're happy to say that Philippines ranked the second biggest market or country in the international student population of Panjo. So knowing us Pinoy's, we want na sana pumunta tayo sa isang new country or new place. So meron tayong yes. kailan um, fellow Filipino. So for sure, if you are a newcomer in Canada, it will be very easy for you to adjust because we have a lot of Filipino students roaming around the corridors of Panjo <laughs> and also living in London City as well. And also, since we're going to talk about studies, um, I will show you the delivery of programs namin in, mm. um, in FAMSHO. So in Canada, specifically in FAMSHO College, we are technically practicing experiential learning in the delivery of our program. So what is the experiential learning na to and what is, what is the difference between the traditional learning that we are accustomed to here in the Philippines? So um, in Canada, we still have lectures, just like here. Meron ding tayong mga tests, exams, or quizzes. Meron ding assignments. And meron ding, meron ding mga research collaboration with probably on your own or with a peer mm -hmm. or yung group ninyo. But meron ding ganon, but we focus mainly our programs on the hands-on learning that you will have in the program. So in terms of hands-on learning, you will allot majority of your time in the labs kung meron kang laboratory mm -hmm. sessions in your program or dun sa mga placement opportunities or co-op opportunities that we provide to you in your program. So that is very different and maganda siya because we want you to um, to get yung correct knowledge, the level of knowledge that our that your future employers are expecting you to have when they hire you um, after graduation, of course. And a new co-op and placement na sinasabi ko kanina. So any of our programs would have placements. So these are in included dito yung internship, externship, or field placement na nakalagay dun sa program ninyo are also included in your letter of step up. Um, placements are shorter in terms of duration. So it also mixed with your academic classes. So for example, I'm enrolled in a specific semester. And I have classes in the morning and in the afternoon, I have to render a significant amount of time in, let's say, um, a company where I have to do my internship. And I have to finish that requirement before I move on to my next semester. So those are placements. And in terms of payment, um, generally, hindi siya paid. But it will depend on the company or, let's say, institution or, or organization if they will give you incentives or allowances. So those mm -hmm. are places. Um, Co-op naman is longer in terms of duration. So the minimum is four months, the maximum is eight months. And hindi siya um, combined with any other academic classes. Specific na may sakang semester just for co-op. So mm -hmm. that's it. And also pag co-op, paid internship siya. So it can earn higher than minimum wage or sometimes even the entry-level salary of the company if you're going to spend your co-op term with them. So yun yung variations ng co-op and placement. Pero some of our programs, probably you will see in the website, bakit walang co-op, bakit walang placement? So paano yung experiential learning? We still have opportunities for you for experiential learning. For example, merong mentorship in that in your program or we will help you create a portfolio to say your portfolio mo pwede mong gawin when you apply for jobs and also may mga capstone projects din wherein you mga case studies na kailangan mo um, um, you have to resolve during through your capstone project 
it's actually real life problems sa mga industry partners namin. Mm-hmm. So, in our own little way, we still provide you experiential learning in the programs, even if if, if yung program mo that you have doesn't have any co-op or anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just want to repeat that again, Ina. Ha? Um, so, for placements, generally, they are, they are unpaid internship tama while for co-op um which is longer four to eight months for these ones they are paid yes, work experience okay cool and then you've mentioned about capstone is that right yes the capstone projects uh in some of our programs especially business okay so sa capstone it's actual ano pa rin, scenarios given for each companies that they get to uh, know, do hands-on like experiential learning. Yes. So for the capstone project, normally you have to you will be assigned a specific company and you will res- resolve your project, your problem by some mm-hmm. company. And then um through your capstone, you have to pro- you create a proposal to resolve mm-hmm. that specific issue. Okay, so very ano pa rin, hands-on nga as what yes, you've mentioned. Yeah, because Sabi mo nga, if they're gonna look at the website, no, um, not everything is stated as co-op. So with that capstone, that's where the experiential um, experience comes in, right? The learning. Okay, cool. Sige. Thank you, Ina. Go ahead. Okay. So before I go to the programs that we offer, um, I'd like to introduce to you our campuses first. Because um, the campuses are and then we we'll start the part-time job in <laughs> the London International Airport. So that's a bonus for many of yeah. our aviation program students. And then um, we also have two campuses in downtown area, downtown London. So we have one building for the School of Digital and Performing Arts. And then the other building na sobrang daming Pinoy, because a lot of them are taking the mga programs. Na to, yung School of Culinary, Tourism, and Hospitality. And then the last one that we have in London City is the South Campus. So here, it's only for international students, um, specifically for um, those who are enrolled in graduate certificate programs in business. So we have a few programs in business that are offered here. And mm-hmm. outside London, Maritime Regional Campuses. So we have St. Thomas, Woodstock, and Simcoe. And the newest campus that we have is in partnership with ILA, and we are now offering programs in downtown Toronto. So we only have five programs here. Two mm-hmm. are in hospitality and tourism. One is gerontology. One is addictions and mental health. And then the other one is, um, I, um, I think that's development, development, developmental services worker. So those are the only programs that are offered in the Toronto campus. And yeah. it's offered starting fall 2022. So, maganda addition sa diba, diversity ng mga campuses. Yes! Oo, oh, oh. yeah. dumami ang campuses ninyo. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, so, at the moment, that's in, yeah, it's, that's in partnership. So, Fansha in partnership with ILAC. Tama? Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, that's like five programs at the moment that you accept yes. in that downtown Toronto. Exactly. So fall 2022 is the start date. We don't have the um, the next start date yet, but hopefully once that we see that people are enrolling um, in our downtown campus in Toronto, then we can add more programs and also add more seats if possible. That's nice. Yes. So yan yung one of our new, parang mga uh, biggest news namin um, for oh. this year. Kasi it's so good. Dumadami yung opportunities for our students um, to also be flexible kung saan sila pwede. And also, yes. we'll get a new access to the fans to education for those yes. of you who are in, um, in Toronto. Kung yun yung, yes. kung nandun yung family mo at pwede ka mag-stay mm. for, let's say, for accommodation, para at least less expenses for, for, for your end, then of course, you can consider our Toronto family. <laughs> Wow, that's really great, Ina. Um, alam naman natin, Toronto is, you know, very Filipino-centered as well, right? Yeah. So, having that campus 
<laughs> that would really be helpful for heaps of our aspiring international students. So let's hope they add you add more um, programs in the coming yes. Uh, um, yes, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Carry on, Ina. All right. So now let's talk about the programs that we offer. So for Fanso, we try to provide uh, a variety of programs for students because we understand that you may have different types of credentials and also you have different types of program of interest. So since we have started recruiting for the Philippine market, a lot of our students are taking programs now related um, to the education nila back in college and also based on their work experience. So you will see a lot of enrollment um, from Philippines, some business programs, um, community studies in education, so social service, developmental service, and also your early childhood that is very popular among licensed teachers who wants to go to Canada and practice teaching. Uh, we also have seen an increased number of students from the Philippines taking construction and trades, um, culinary arts, of course, health sciences, IT, media, um, nursing, science and engineering, uh, tourism and hospitality, and also we have several applications for transportation programs. So before, um, very focused on the business, hospitality, mm -hmm. nursing, but it's diverse na, um, for, the, uh, for the past few intakes. So we hope that um, the program that you have um, in your mind right now that you want to study in Canada, we offer it at Fanso. And mm -hmm. also, dun naman sa credentials that you can finish. So we have four-year degree programs. We have one-year post-secondary certificate, two-year diploma, three-year advanced diploma, and graduate certificate. And I think I would just like to highlight yung sinabi ni M kanina about the post-graduation work permit because that's one of the biggest advantages of studying in Canada. So yes. if you will study at Fancho, let's say you finished a one-year full-time program in Fancho, you may be eligible for a one-year post-graduation work permit. And if you study at least a two-year program, you may be eligible for a three-year post-graduation work permit. And some of you might have a degree, or, um, a good amount of work experience already, we mga students kami na masters na or PhD na and they want to study a graduate certificate. And just to give you a heads up, our graduate certificate programs are mostly one year. And since they want a longer PGWP, you can consider studying two one-year programs. So it's like a one plus one. We don't have, um, we're not very strict in terms of what program that you will do for one plus one. As it's, you, you, you are very much free to choose whatever program that you um, that you want to study, especially if maganda siya yung progression mo, and also it can help mm -hmm. you um, with your study permit. So if you finish both programs, both one-year programs, you may be eligible for up to three-year post-graduation work permit. So it's like a win-win situation for all of our students because mm -hmm. um, you still have the flexibility to choose whatever program that you can study, um, and you can be admitted for it, and after you finish both programs, you can get a longer post-graduation. Yes. I, I would like to reiterate that, Ina, no? so for one year um, study, they, they may be eligible for a one-year post-graduation work permit, but if they get a two or more years of study program, you know, um, they may be eligible to get a, for up to three years of yes, post-graduation work permit. Yes. And alam naman natin, no, na that, well, for Filipinos, they would want to max, um, yes. be able to um, attain that maximum um, term, which is the three years. So as what Inez mentioned, um, you could do a one plus one, you know, um, and um, anyway, our team with Ina and Secure Visa, we're here. We're here to help you out um, throughout the journey, so you don't need to worry about that. But of course, um, if one year is the goal, then you just let us know. But for us, of course, we want to have that maximum yeah. three years. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Ina. Go on. All right. And now let's talk about 
um, ones that you are in Pancha College, um, these are the these are just some of the student services that you can enjoy. So um, for our international students, um, some of you, well, majority of our students won't have any family member or even friend who can pick them up in Toronto and drive them to London City since, again, it's two hours away. So we have an arrival service called Fans to Cares. So this is a free transportation for our international students who are coming into Canada for the first time. So um, since, 20, since 2022, the so start of 2022, we are providing this transportation service 30 days prior to the start of intake because that's also the recommended period or time wherein our students can arrive in Canada So to start their program, of course. So if you are going to study in any, um, in any of the campuses in London, so we'll pick you up from Toronto Airport and bring you to London City in your permanent accommodation. Or if, let's say, you're going to start your program in any of our regional campus or in Toronto for fall 2022, we can provide transportation for you. So also, if, let's say, um, we never know the decision of IRCC about their travel restriction, but right now, very um, easy in travel to Canada and yes. less just for now. So our students are not required to quarantine upon arrival um, as starting April April 1. And so it change, it might change depending on the status of um, the health situation in Canada um, and also IRCC. But mm -hmm. if let's say you, you need to quarantine or you need a place to stay, Kahit for a few days before you move to your permanent accommodation, we have partner hotels in London City wherein you can stay and you can get a discounted rate if you are a financial student. Um, also, as an international student, you can of course access um, the international center. So we have a team that is here for you for all any for any program, admission, and student immigration related concerns. Um, for anything academic, we have the Learning Center as well. Mm -hmm. So you can um, request for a tutor, you can book an appointment with an academic um, consultant in the, interna in the Learning Center. Also, for our students, since we have um, non-speaking English students in Pancho, you can even apply as a tutor and use it as your part-time in-campus job. So, like, increase the in in-campus job opportunities. Namin. So, being a tutor is one. So if you are passionate about teaching and you have the patience, um, of yeah. course, you can apply as a tutor. Oh, and yeah. in your program then, if ever you have issues, you can always contact your program coordinator and academic advisor. I always say this to my students um, if, during pre-departure that if mm -hmm. you're not feeling well or you're not doing well in a specific subject, Please don't wait where it pag nasa last few weeks na kayo ng semester because it might be too late for your um, program coordinator to help yes. you get back on track. And ayaw naman natin na mag-fail ka kasi science, science intuition mo. Exactly. And also, kailangan mo siyang i-repeat. So baka din maging underload ka for, for your next semester which might yeah. also affect your study permit, diba? So as yeah. much as possible, Wag po tayong mahiyang mag-reach out because um, hindi naman sila nakakatakot. They're very approachable. Canadians are known as as someone who's very approachable and happy mm -hmm. people. So That's right. we can all reach out to them and um, seek help. And of course, yeah. um, like our students who are um, doing well academically, you can apply for scholarships. So our scholarships in Fancho are merit-based. So you have to finish one semester before you can apply mm. for a scholarship. So it can range from 500 to 2,000 Canadian dollars. And the last one that I would like to highlight today, because we know that as an international student, ang goal natin short term is to finish the program and get a job after graduating. Yes. Siguro, medium goal natin is PR or immigration. But we want, um, of course, our students to have jobs after graduation. Mm -hmm. We have the Career and Employment Service Center. So this is the center. We have a full pack team to help you with anything that is about employment and job readiness in Canada. 
So we have workshops available for you. We have career coaching. Um, we have career fairs. Now we're trying to do it um, hybrid. So may mga online kami na career fairs and then meron uh, din face-to-face na, na career fairs. Yeah. Uh, so is it even, for example, you are you don't have a LinkedIn account yet, majority mm-hmm. of the companies in Canada are recruiting via LinkedIn. So it's very important for you to also um, set your presence in that platform. So we can help you create that. We can do mock interviews for you para maging at ease ka sa real interview yes. mo. Online man yan or, or face-to-face. And also, you have access as an international student at Fansho sa portal that shows you job opportunities for part-time, summer, and full-time jobs. So mm-hmm. this platform is regularly monitored and updated by, our, by the Career and Employment Service Center team. So it's in partnership with LEDC and also yung mga companies namin um, within Canada. So wow. you have access to it five years after graduation. So kung hindi ka man magstay sa London, that's fine. If you move to a different yeah. city, to a different province, pwede mo pa rin i-access yun five years after graduation. Or at least we can still help you um, in in our way para yeah. mag, makakuha ng jobs after graduation. I just want, yeah, I just want to highlight again, Ina, kasi that's very helpful, no? After graduation, five years. Yes, you're still in that years. portal, di ba? So, hindi yes. naman kailangan concentrated sila in London. They can, you know, move to other um, cities nearby, you know. So, yes. I mean, that's really helpful. And it's being monitored. So, ibig sabihin, yung companies that you are, um, is this in partnership with with yung companies na yun? Yes. So normally, sila din yung mga companies that accept our students for placement and co op. Mm. And um, yung mga students namin na nag internship dot or nag placement dot. Normally, dun dun sila mo kwa <laughs> ng first job nila. Yeah. Kasi, sila, and yung performance nila during, siguro kahit four months yan or eight months, diba? Mm. It can considered already as a training and maganda na investment to sayo, so might as well um, give you an offer after graduation. That's right. I mean, a strong, kumbaga nakapag-build na sila ng strong relationship, ng rapport, kaya that, the company trusted them na, di ba? That's, that's the good <laughs> thing about um, having placements and co-ops. Right? Yeah. And that, also, yun nga, yung nasabi mo, no, na wag, wag hintayin right at the end na humingi ng tulong. That's really mm-hmm. true. Kasi um, there are supports in place for Fansho. They have Fansho Cares and then the team, you know, um, coaching, di ba? It's there for you guys, no? If you need help, you need um, assistance, you're not sure how to, you know, um, make the paper, <laughs> di ba? All yeah. those things. And then, um, secure visa. Kami rin, we have um we have that um what we call extended settlement support. So we can also help you with your CV, your resume, um building. You know, just so marketable kayo with the <laughs> with the Canadian employers, de ba? And yeah. also with Fansho, they have they have that too. So don't be shy to ask help. Kasi nga, yeah. we are here with Fansho, with Ina, and Secure Visa. We are here to help you out. That's really yeah. nice, the yeah. portal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, oh, <laughs> that's right. Thanks, Ina. Sige, carry on. Okay. So, okay, let's now talk about the most important thing. Yung tuition fee and living expenses. So, for our program, tuition and fees, um, it can range from sixteen to 18000 Canadian dollars. And that is for one year or a total of two semesters. Um, for your program tuition fees as an international student, you have to pay your first semester tuition fee in full prior to the start of your program. So um, in terms of payments, when we issue the letter of acceptance, you have to pay the initial deposit of 2300 Canadian dollars. So that's the first payment. And it has to be settled 30 days from the issuance date of your LOA. So to validate and reserve a seat for you. 
the next mm -hmm. payment will be the the, um, the balance of the first semester tuition fee. So if let's say um, nine thousand Canadian dollars yung tuition fee mo less two three yung mm -hmm. balance non, it has to be paid two to three months before the start of class. You will be notified on the amount and when do you have to pay your tuition fee balance. But para lang din may estimate kayo, it will be part of your letter of acceptance already. So at least ma prepare you na siya beforehand. Um, so that's the program tuition and fees. And also part of your fees will include a bus pass if you are a full time London student. So this is a very good um, benefit for our students because mm -hmm. in London City, the major means of transportation is bus talaga. And itong yes. bus pass, it's not just limited to the routes going to the campus. So it, anywhere in London, kahit anong bus route yan, you can use your bus pass. So that will save you a lot of money for transportation. And also your insurance, medical insurance, is already covered. Um, as an international student of FANCHO, it's part of your tuition fee already. So hospitalization, medical procedures, consultation, dental, vision, that's part of your insurance. And since the pandemic, our students are covered with insurance 30 days prior to the start of class. Kaya din yun yung time namin na recommended for arrivals because we want you na secured pa din. Um, in terms of your health coverage when you are, let's say, about, I mean, when you arrive in Canada. So that's the additional uh, information that I would like to share with you guys for insurance. Um, for books and other expenses, it will really depend on your program and it can, it can range around 500 to 2,000 Canadian dollars. You can purchase old books from previous students and ngayon na um, majority of our programs are still online this summer. Merong mga ebooks na, of course, would cost less than the actual book itself. So you can purchase that if there's an available version for um, ko ano mga resource material yung kailangan ng professor niyo for that program. And also for accommodation, um, this is very important because um, if you can see a lot of schools in Canada, they are mostly located in Greater Toronto area. And um, Siguro, one of the popular programs na outside Greater Toronto, eh, sorry, school that is outside Greater Toronto area is Fancho. And bakit ba yung mga students pumupunta sa Fancho? It's because of London City. Because knowing us Filipinos, um, we want to be very practical in terms of our choices. And we understand that studying in Canada or anywhere outside the Philippines is very um costly already it's a very big financial investment so if you want to be practical um and you want a place to stay now very okay yung, for affordable accommodation without compromising let's say your quality of life and your access to good quality education london city is actually a great place for you because um for london city accommodation for a single bed occupancy can range from 380 to 450 cal per month. Let's say you are bringing your family with you, na possible naman, um, of course you need a bigger place to stay. So a two bedroom apartment, for example, is around 1,600 Canadian dollars only. So that's the average. But if you will compare it to other cities in greater Toronto area, it will actually cost you more. A single bed occupancy might be around 800 to even a, more than a thousand and pag two bedroom apartment lalong lalo na sa downtown toronto mga ano yan, mga 2000 and above so that's really um, a big cost for our students pero yun nga if you would like to start your new life in canada london city is a great place for you to begin and then you are not limited only to london after graduation because in your pgwp you can go anywhere. You can go to a different city. You can go to a different province. If mas madaming job opportunities done or may better pathway for immigration. But yun nga, knowing us Filipinos, we want to be practical in everything. So that's mm -hmm. the reason why many of our students are choosing London and choosing Canada. That's right. Ina, um, just a quick question here. Because students, um, they're... Aspiring students, they're asking about insurances, no? Mm -hmm. um, are they 
do they have the option of um getting a third party insurance all right so um well it's already part of the package for insurance um because it's the most comprehensive mm -hmm. uh, package you can offer to international students following that in sa ano eh, following that in dun sa um requirement ng ng the provincial uh, for international students the only time that you can um siguro be exempted from the insurance as part of your tuition fee is when you get your OHE, your Ontario Health Insurance Plan. So um, that's government regulated insurance for um, for for the residents in Ontario. So yun lang yung pwedeng um, equivalent. Other third party, uh, most likely hindi namin siya inaalaw kasi hindi siya as comprehensive as what we can provide. Thanks, Ina. Kasi nga, um, andun eh, it's part of the package already, di ba? Yung payment yeah. of their tuition fee. So, might as well, you know, go with um, Fanshaw's um, insurance, uh, what's this? Insurance company that you are in partnership yeah. with, di ba? Thanks, Ina, for clearing that out. It's um, one of the most, ano eh, one of the commonly asked questions. Yeah. Should I proceed? Yeah, carry okay. on, Ina. <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, in, the, in my next few slides, we're going to talk about how you can begin your application in Fansho. So, if you are going to apply to Fansho College, you can work with um, Secure Visa and VPNZ um, to um, to launch your school application and also help you with the study permit application because they're one of they are now one of our education partners in the Philippines. So currently, we are um, accepting applications for fall 2022. Um, but just to give you a heads up, if you're still targeting fall, get your LOA as soon as possible. Because um, we have many programs that are closing in the next few weeks. Um, and also, you have a lot of um, documents that you have to, let's say, accomplish for the study permit application. But for all intakes in 2023, so winter, summer, and fall, we are now accepting applications. So the earlier, the better. But at least you can settle in, you can get like a cram dun sa study permit approval. Mo. And yeah, we can issue your LOA uh, within 47 business days. Um, and also, if you guys are tuning in this webinar today or this live stream, and you're going to apply to, um, to Fanshawe College to secure visa, they can waive your application fee of 100 can. And in terms of um, the requirements, so these are the minimum requirements that we need from you. So if you're going to apply for a post-secondary program, you have to submit both high school and college transcripts and diplomas. But if you're going to apply for, let's say, a graduate certificate, you just have to submit your college documents because the minimum requirement for grad cert is a degree. Also, we are not requiring IELTS. Any English test or certificate of medium of instruction for Filipino citizens if you're going to apply to Fansho, except for these two programs, pharmacy technician and occupational therapy program. And also, if there are several requirements that you would need um, that is posted in the website for the program, you just have to comply it um, and then add it to the um, application documents. But and we will issue the letter of acceptance eventually. So here are the minimum requirements for school application. But if Secure Visa will ask for more documents, um, of course, they need it for filing and also then the visa application. So again, this is the application requirements. And the last one would be how you can explore Fancho College even more after this live stream. So you're very much free to check out our social media pages and also our, um, our website, but you're, you're very much recommended to book an appointment as soon as possible with any secure visa staff so that they can help you because they have to assess your profile no? and give you the right program recommendation and help you start your school and, of course, eventually your study permit application no? in Canada. 
Great. Um, thank you so much, Ina. Um, and daming bago ha for year 2022 for Fancho yes. College. <laughs> no, so it's really lovely to have this school showcase now, no, with the current times. You have a new campus in partnership mm -hmm. with ILAC and offering program offerings of five for that um downtown Toronto campus, no? So here we have selected um, a pre-selected uh, question, no? commonly asked of us. So, na, the first one is any new program offerings? Yes. So um, I think in 2021, we have several programs um, that were offered. So one of them is Automotive Sales Management. Um, it's a one-year graduate certificate program and also something related to welding and fabrication um if you guys are um, looking for a program with that one usually because one year lang yung in offer namin but it was a bit hard for our students to look for another one year program na related that's why we um created yung two year program na it's a two year diploma um welding and fabrication and just today just this morning I received the email that we might have a program um, in the next few intakes about construction engineering technician. So far, kasi, um, yung construction program namin is um, isa lang yung two year diploma, which is carpentry and renovation. And then the others are three years na. So um, some of our students are, don't want to take the three year kasi masyado siyang mahaba. So, maganda tong option na to. It's construction engineering technician na two years. So, we will inform, of course, secure visa team kung kailan namin siya maging available sa, sa VAST and so that they can already start. Yeah. Construction engineering technician, is that right? Yes. Yes, that's construction Wow, engineering. that's really exciting. For sure, ano yan, Ina, uh, maging one of the very in-demand programs may include yan sa list, no? Yeah. Pero, yun na nga, we have to wait for Fanshawe's announcement, no? Because um, just, <laughs> that's fresh, just this morning, <laughs> sabi <laughs> nila. <laughs> no? So, let's all hope it's gonna be offered soon, right? Yeah. Thanks, Ina. Next question is, despite the pandemic, have Philip Filipino international students increased by the number in your campus? Surprisingly, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I think it's because of um, during the pandemic, hindi din talaga naging, um, parang naging nag close to Canada for international students. That's one. And also, um, I think our students took this opportunity, yung pandemic, as an opportunity to uh, in, in, in nila. because after you study one year or two years, um, the world will be back to normal or mm -hmm. will be back to the new normal. So, mas madami kang um, pwedeng opportunities makuha, especially for jobs. So, they That's took right. that time. Diba? Kasi pandemic, nag-slow down lahat. So, you have to mm -hmm. focus on yourself. So, nag-invest sila sa education and then um, afterwards, yung na, na update na nila yung skills nila na update yung knowledge nila kasi yung yung programs na naman namin we have to update it sa kung anong yes. trend or ako anong ginagawa ng um ng i mean to adapt ko anong ginagawa ng industries sa pandemic so after right. afterwards maganda yon kasi mas makakuha sila ng jobs um, that's ngayon. right and talagang tumaas pa rin despite the pandemic Tumaas ang yes, Filipino students. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have here uh, Maxwell from San Nicolas, Ilocos Norte. Hi, Maxwell. Thanks for joining us. And also, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn Posadas. Kamusta ka? Thanks for watching. And may question si Evelyn, Ina. Tumataas din po ba ang tuition fee sa Canada? The answer is yes. So every academic year, um, we increase the tuition fee. So usually it's around three to two to five or even seven percent every academic year. Um, during the pandemic, 2020, 2021, hindi kami nag-increase ng tuition fee. 
Pero I think this 2022, 2023 intake, um, or academic year rather, we might. Uh, but we have been consistently parang placing yung 2% increase lang. Hindi umakit ng 5% or more. But it will really depend sa approval ng Ministry of Education. Oh, that's right. So it's anywhere between 2 to 7%. Pero yeah. um, during the pandemic, there was no um, increase with the tuition fee for Fanshawe College. Yeah. So thanks for that. Thanks for asking the question, Evelyn. Um, next is the most popular program for the year 2022. Um, I think siguro kung ano yung pinakamaaging nag-close. <laughs> um, Madami so, eh. <laughs> actually, tatlo, tat, ano ba, tatlo sila. Um, BSW, Gerontology, and Healthcare Admin. So sila yung tatlo sa mabilis na nag-close. Mabilis, yeah. Uh, parang so, we offer it every intake, pero lagi siyang maaging nag-close. <laughs> so yun ang pinaka-popular, yung tatlo yeah. na yun, you know. Okay, next is, is English test a requirement? So, if you are a Filipino citizen, you are not required to submit English, any English test, um, except dun sa dalawa, pharmacy tech and yeah. occupational therapy. Yeah, so dalawa lang yung may English test requirement, mm -hmm. the pharmacy technician and the um, what's the other one, Ina? Occupational therapy. Occupa o occupational therapy. Okay. Uh, we have um, Jesus J. Hi, Jesus. Thank you from Qatar. Thank you for watching. Okay. Next question is, what if my permit has not been decided yet? Would I be able to defer to the next intake date? So, actually, yes. Um... We have many students na ganun din yung case kasi we never, we can't really predict kung kailan ma alabas yung um, visa results mo. So if you are like weeks away from the start of your intake and wala ka pang visa, you're not allowed kasi to, uh, to start a program in Fancho if you don't have a visa approval. So you can consider deferring to a future intake. So... For our students, you are limited to two changes um, in your um, in your studies at Fancho. So if you will defer to, let's say, fall 2022, if open pa yung program, it's possible. So if you are going to work with a secure visa, they will be requesting that dun sa portal namin because they are your um, accredited agent um, for Fancho. All right. Thanks, Ina. So two. They are mm, they yeah. they are able to request deferral for two um consecutive tama yeah yeah and so hope that's clear um are there fees for deferral requests so we don't have we don't charge anything um actually debated before but the charge ba kami or not or we just limited the limited the changes into two so wala namang payment. Um, if you paid the deposit of the initial deposit ng 2-3, um, it will just remain in your account. And then pag na-issue ng bagong LOA, we'll just use your payment to validate and also to reserve a seat dun sa bago mong LOA. So wala ka namang kailangang bayaran. Basta initial 2-3 ay paid prior. Yes, uh, basta the 2-3 has been paid prior. So there's mm -hmm. no payment. Thanks, Ina. May pahabol here. Um, Pwede na ba daw mag-apply for January 2023? Yes, go! <laughs> go na! <laughs> 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 yung pinag-usapan namin ni Emma kanina before the live na yung, yung visa application requirements yung napakatagal. Mabilis lang yung school, but yung visa application, you have a lot of documents that you have to secure. Yung medical, kailangan mong maka- pag-upfront ka agad kasi ubos na din ng seat, ng, ng, um, seat or slot. So, the earlier the better. And kung 2023 ka, um, you have to be in Canada ng December. Um, kasi, well, winter yon tapos expect mm -hmm. na rin yung because of the holiday break. 
So, kailangan, di ba? November, May, this That's right. Pero would you know, Ina, if meron ng open for 2024? Um, wala pa. Hopefully, <laughs> by early, by mid this, this year, uh, mga June, mag-open mm. na kami ng 2024. Wala okay. naman kaming, ano ah, um, wala kaming payment, sorry, we don't have any application deadline as long as the program is open and you can get your visa before the start of class, you get a sheer LOA. That's right. Thanks, Ina. Hi, Elena Surumida from Zamboanga, Zamboanga City. Interested. Hi. If you have questions, guys, you can type them in. Um, we have Miss Ina here of Fanshaw College, who's very ano, happy to answer all the questions. Now, so the last question was if um pwede nang mag apply for January 2023. And we just want to reiterate, as always, na because we have no hold sa IRC, IRCC decision, you know, um, mas maganda mag apply the earlier the better. Talaga, yeah. di ba, Ina? As long as yeah. um, the program is open na it's and open. yeah, Fansho it has released LOAS, you know, and then we can start talaga from there to collate na all your documents and you don't need to worry because our team, Secure Visa, is here to help you out. As what Ina mentioned, they have two basic um, requirements, but of course, with the uh, permit application, um, with immigration, um, we, we have the checklist for that and we will guide you through it. So, kaya hindi, hindi kasi, hindi, hindi talaga madaling mag-apply no, there's heaps and damning documents, but we are here to guide you, to point the, you to, towards the right direction so you don't need to worry, all right? So are there more questions? Um, so far, that's it um, from my end. So while we're waiting, oh, there, Meron. Hi, Chermaline. Thanks for watching. Can you share more info about your supply chain management? Diploma mm -hmm. or Certificate Program, Ina? All right. So we have um, two types of credentials when we're going to talk about supply chain. So we have the two-year program, which is a diploma. It's a post-secondary diploma. Um, if you don't have any background in terms of supply chain, like education background, um, and wala kang fundamentals about supply chain, you can, I'm recommending for you to study that two-year diploma program. But if you already have, let's say, a degree in logistics or exports management, um, and may work experience in related to supply chain and logistics, then you can consider the one-year program of uh, supply chain um, the grad cert level. Yung uh, one-year grad cert level, it's, uh, it has co-op, so you will finish two academic semesters, then the last one will be co-op. Um, for the diploma naman, we have two options for you. There's a co-op version and a non-co-op version. So it will really depend on you kung ano yung gusto mo. Um, very popular yung co-op, of course, kasi paid internship siya. Kaya din, mabilis siyang maubusin ng seats. But um, like I said, in dun sa presentation, maganda talaga ang advantage if you have the co-op in your program. That's right. Thanks, Ina. And Termaline, if, you know, um, get in touch with us and we can um, explain this further for you. Um, you're looking at the supply chain management, which is also, I, I'd say, a very popular uh, yes. program, <laughs> Ina, <laughs> for Fanshaw uh, College. No? <laughs> we can attest. Sa ano na yan, no? So, to get in touch with us, um, we'd be more than happy to help you out. Yeah, no worries, Charmaline. And, um, well, maybe later, a bit later, no, there might be questions coming in. But for now, Ina, um, would you like to, you know, um, share a few words of, you know, wisdom to all our <laughs> aspiring um, international students? Yes. So, um, I think you're exploring your options in your for studies abroad by, like, for example, viewing this live stream um, while working or while resting um, this afternoon is actually a great first step. Because 
um, it's a very big investment. Uh, financially, emotionally, physically, it's a very big investment. But if you think that in your, um, let's say, short-term or medium-term goal, ang gusto mo talaga is a better life for you and for your family, um, Canada can offer you that opportunity. So a lot of our students um, actually started Paranu Express Entry, but since it's very competitive, um, they consider you studying. Because yung studying naman, although it's um, will cost you more, maganda din siya for you. Because um, although you have the work experience and you also have your education, maganda din that you um, educate yourself. You iritul mo yung sarili mo. Um, and refresh yourself because you are going to be in a different country. Um, kahit na siguro nag-teach ka for more than 10 years already, iba yung mga students, iba yung mga makakasama mo or makikinteract mo when you go to Canada and when you're, you're doing your job. So it's a good time for um, to educate yourself and also invest on yourself as well. So I hope that um, in the next following months, you can contact Secure Visa about your um, your interest to study in Canada. And hopefully, dun sa pag-explore nyo about studying in Canada, you can consider Fancha College as your school of choice. And I hope na you um, get your LOA soon, um, you get your approval, and start your program. Siguro, kung fall, kung di man fall 2022, Siguro we'll see you in Canada in 2023 now. That's really lovely, Ina. Yeah, um, for sure they're excited, <laughs> no, yes. for fall or even for the winter 2023 intake. Now, for sure, madaming katanungan pa rin yung mga viewers natin, yung audience. Don't worry, you may get in touch with us via our email address. That's info at securevisa.com. And you may phone us through our numbers there. We have our uh, Manila line and our New Zealand line. So you may contact us anytime. And of course, you can see Secure Visa all over social media. So please continue following us via our Facebook page, our LinkedIn, our TikTok, the Secure Visa podcast in Spotify and Apple podcast and our YouTube channel, Secure Visa. Hit like and subscribe. And um, on our Facebook page, when you see that three-dotted button on the upper right, cl click that three-dotted button and find Manage Follow Settings and change it to Favorite so that we every time we have um, announcements, we have school showcases, you know, um, videos, we will be on your feed at once. And we have created a free 60-minute video on how being an international student for a year led Aina to her permanent residency despite not being financially ready and not a highly skilled professional. All the important information, you will find it in that video. So find the link in our comment section and register now for free. And that's a wrap, everyone. Thanks again, Ina of Fanshawe College. And to all our viewers, thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to watch out for our upcoming sessions, live posts, and features. And keep safe and healthy, everyone. And goodbye for now.